guys and welcome to today the very first day of fall it is a gorgeous fall day out here meet our coats it is cool and windy and fall like yeah it is almost june i'm not complaining though you guys because it's actually not too bad and it's not raining and that's what's important every time i walk down to the barn the closer i get the bigger the butterflies in my stomach it's just because of how like horses release endorphins you guys it's incredible anyway today we are headed out oh my goodness sam sam came down and fed the horses for us they're getting a whole day worth of hay because we're going away today we're going away from our beautiful little family look who came to say hi i just love this little girl and we're not bonded you guys saw in yesterday's video she doesn't really love me yet but we're gonna work on it and i'm glad we did that video because i wanted to see like how they feel about us and see what we need to do still so yeah i'm gonna be doing a lot of bonding but yeah sam fed the horses inside and outside he put a lot of hay outside uh, goes to show you if they can be together where they want to be they want to be together inside I, horses are so different than what I ever thought like people tell me that I humanize them too much and I seriously challenge that and say they're as human like as you can possibly imagine like they have a they might not think long term the way that we do but they have every single human emotion that we have Hey, Stella Bella. Hey, girl, listen, we gotta be friends. She's smelling me. She's like, you got treats? I may not know much, but I definitely am able to tell that horses have feelings. Like, I look over here at Finn, and he is still so unsettled and nervous, and he, he doesn't get it yet. Why are you covered in black? What the heck? You must have, oh, you did roll. The girls were down here. Gabby was down here earlier and said he rolled. You rolled because you are covered in black, dude. Yeah. You having breakfast? Such a good boy. I love to just stand around and stare at them and see what I can see. I may not know all the horse lingo, but there are some things that, there are some things that come through even without knowing all the horse stuff. Like, I love that Stella wants to be near Finn. I feel bad that poor Storm is an outcast and has nobody. He hasn't really settled into our little herd yet because we haven't given him time. And I think Willow feels left out. She feels secure and loved. She wants to be as far away from Storm as she can, but she does feel like the third wheel in that little, in that little group. I love this little herd. I never wanted to change. I never wanted to get, I don't know. I just love it. I just love all these horses. I'm getting the heck out of here because I do not trust you, Finn. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you guys see the bruise on my arm? That bruise is just from where Finn hit me. That's where he ran and smashed into me. That's the side of my body that smashed into Finn. Seriously, looking at them, I can see God's grace in everything that we have today. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, we are headed out to a family birthday party. I'm going to see all the grandbabies. I'll try and video them so you guys can see them too. Um, but, gosh. Last night, just around supper time, Sam went outside. And Finn and Storm jumped the fence. They jumped the fence in their paddock. I'm sure it was Finn, he's done it before. He'll charge the fence. The top fence fell down and then they just jumped. They jumped it, they jumped the thing. And I'm gonna show you guys that footage because of course I videoed it, but I'm gonna show it to you right now. Sam just came in for, oh my gosh, how did he do that? What the actual heck? How did this happen? Did they jump the fence? Oh my gosh, you guys, what in the world just happened? Now let's see who they really love. See who they go to. Sam just came running in, screaming for the girl. Oh, look at our horses, our such love bugs. Sam just came in screaming that the horses were free. 
And I'm like, you're lying. Why would they be free? How did they get out? Oh my goodness. Not again. Remember the last time our horses got out, we were all stressed out and Willow and Finn ran off. And in reality now, they just stand where the girls are. Don't bring them up here, they have to go in the barn. Silly girls. How did they get out? He doesn't know how they got out. Interesting. All right, we have an hour to drive to get where we're going. And I wanted to take this opportunity to do some shout outs because honestly, I really want to do shout outs on our channel. I just never get to them. Um, so let's get started. So Serenity Silly says, I would love to be a horse owner and equestrian vlogger. I bet but I hate it at the same time while well, the vlogging part because I know I would mess up or not be perfect at first and I don't want somebody making a, vi a hate video about me that's super rude and so unkind to other people. And so Serenity, I just wanna say, hey girl, be you, make your channel, be yourself, make your own mistakes and if somebody makes a hate video about you, then that is a sign of success. Love yourself, be yourself, and don't let other people stop you from doing the things that you want to do. Live your own authentic life. I'm a pony crazy and role play toys both said, I forgot you guys had little dogs. Do you think you could show them more? I want to see the puppers. Uh, yeah, we, I actually shot a little clip of the little dogs with us the other day and then had to cut it because our video got so long. I try to show our puppies more often and I'm going to try and maybe bring them down to the barn and play with them one day soon. Um, because I want them to be in our vlogs. A lot of you guys are new subscribers. You don't even know that we have chihuahuas. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna try. Jay May, I can't see the rest of her um, her name. I want the usual. We're getting coffee. Um, um, can I get my vanilla thing? Yeah, but she says that it makes her sad that Gabby can't just let Laura believe that Stella is her horse. Gabby already has a horse named Storm. I understand a lot of you guys feel like Gabby is hogging two horses when we all need a horse. Most of the time when we say that stuff, it's just kidding you guys. It's just joking. Gabby knows that Stella is my horse. I love to foster the relationship between Gabby and Stella because Gabby is really making Stella a horse that I can ride. Like without Gabby helping and our trainer. Yeah, she can canter. Yeah, our trainer. Train over poles. Yeah, our trainer is teaching Gabby to teach Stella to slow down. So a lot of that stuff that you hear us joking about Gabby owning Stella, it's just joking. Stella is my horse, she's my horse to ride, but they are all our family horses and we are all, we all take a role in training them and hanging out with them and bonding with them. Bella Venting said, Laura, you look amazing in the thumbnail. You should be super proud. Thank you, that's amazing. Thank you for saying that. Trinity Nivens says, Gabby and Stella are amazing together and Gabby has done such a great job with her. Thank you for saying that as well because I think that um, I'm really proud of Gabby for sticking it out because you guys might not know, but not long ago, like in the winter after I fell, people were afraid to ride Stella. A lot of people were afraid to, to ride Stella. Gabby has gone from being afraid to mastering that girl. Like she, you saw in the picture, she stands on her, she jumps off of her when she's moving. She's making our girl the best girl she can be. All right, we are here to pick up my grandson and my daughter-in-law, so uh, we'll, um, so that is it for the shout outs. I just wanna thank you again for all your love support and kindness in your comments and your suggestions they mean a lot all right we are at the birthday party and this is the happening birthday party of all the happening birthday parties um but my niece julia this is julia do you guys remember my niece julia she found a baby bird and she's like laura there's a baby bird oh gosh there really is a baby bird so i said to her is it a fledgling and what did you say she said i don't know it's a robin <laughs> So a fledgling is a baby bird that looks just like that, that has left the nest and the mom and dad, and the mom still takes care of it because it has, it's not ready to be on its own yet. But she's still out there taking care of it. Yeah, he, he, he wants to, he's camera shy you guys. Okay, the craziest thing happened, we did the alcohol test. 
<laughs> turn away from this video if you are under drinking age. So basically, the little this is my nephew Chance's fifth birthday party, and he wanted Jello shooters for his birthday party. <laughs> don't know why. Don't want to even know why. But so they did make him some unalcoholic Jello shooters, little tiny, and yeah. And so Julia, who is 17, 18, 18. how old are you? 18, asked my girls. Sophie, do you want a jello shooter? They knew what they were. What did Sophie say? She said, absolutely not. She would not, you could not convince her. <laughs> then she asked Gabby, Gabby, do you want a jello shooter? They didn't, she did not tell them that they were not alcoholic. And what happened? What she did, was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there goes there. That answers all those questions. So this is a Nerf party. When you walk in the gate, you have all the Nerf guns that you could possibly want. Over here are the bullets and some little chairs. Over here are all the targets. Like these would be great barrels for our barrel racing. Obviously, guns have been shot. There are there are bullets everywhere. Over here is a little another target practice. And over here is the bouncy castle. <laughs> Gabby, have you been loving the bouncy castle? What are you eating? I thought you were eating jello shooters. For a minute there, I thought you were eating jello shooters. Another one? It tasted just like jello. Mmm, that looks good. It tasted just like jello. All right, we got Sophie and we got Gabby in the bouncy house. I want to go on it. If I didn't have a broken neck, I'd be on that thing. Jello shooters and a bouncy slide. This is the kind of birthday party you need because you eat so much food and then you exercise going up and down the slide. Oh my god. Three, two, one. Good job waiting for the kids to go. Woo! I'm pretty sure we have pictures of Gabby doing the same thing at six. <laughs> So over here they have the sitting area, seating area, whatever you want to say. And then the spot that everybody wants to be. Oh, crap, I keep banging my head. Over here is the food section, which I'm going to eat right now. Yeah. Even though, to be honest, is this the stuff? I don't know, maybe. Do you want to, are you going to eat it? Because it's like, it's not, not? Nice. Oh, so try the jello shooters there, Gabby. I already had one. Yeah, it's fake. It's not real alcohol. Thank God. Yeah. That's why it tastes and so from now on, for the one. future, if anybody offers you a Jello like, shot, little ones are like, you like say the, no. You say the, no. Back the, away from the alcohol. The little kids were like eating them. And I'm like, oh. Okay. Over here is baby Jack. He just had his supper, his lunch. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's like, what is that thing? You look confused. Say hi. Are you gonna have a nap now, Jack? Are you gonna have a nap? Whoa, look who else just arrived. Oh, okay, he's not here right now, but he's coming. You're gonna save it for him? Wait till you hear all the fun stuff we got for your pony. Hey, Jacob. A dead deer on the way here? No. It was in Somebody me? I got a gun. Yeah, you did get a gun, Mr. Cutie Patootie. Wait till you see the jumpy castle, Jacob. It has a slide, slide in it. I know. It's so fun. So now that Sophie found out the jello shooters are actual jello, she's uh she's imbibing. Um so they've got cupcakes, they've got jello, they've got those things, they've got chips, and they've got a nacho bar here. There's like a nacho dip, nacho dip here, which I'm going to have. They got salad, all different kinds of salads. They got veggies and I already ate some of that stuff. Watermelon, hot dogs, deviled eggs, which I made, so stay away from those things. They also have pulled pork and meatballs, which I'm gonna eat right now, and chili. That salad looks super yummy. I'm gonna have some of that. <laughs> he got me in the forehead. 
All right, this is a Nerf party. So that means that it gives you permission to shoot people in the head. Brother versus sisters. Look at, that's a sister chasing her brother. Two sisters. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Here he comes! I don't think it's him. I was like, this thing is massive for this thing. <laughs> That's why brothers are not cool. <laughs> Here we go. This is the birthday boy. Hey, birthday boy, say hi. Cameras getting ready to be finished. I'm gonna be getting a new one soon. Anyway, we all came down to the barn because we missed the horses so much. I was actually running around, not really running around, I was like walking around shooting the kids with guns, like play guns, uh, at the birthday party. And oh man, I am wrecked from that head injury, like wrecked. It feels like there's a bone in my neck pushing, a bone in my neck pushing into my throat. Hi, ah, babes. Are you hungry? Stella and Gallop. Stella spooked and Gallop. Look at our babies all happy together, though. That's oh, incredible. They're ready for supper. I'm sorry. We're we're only like a half hour late. We're an hour and a half late. Oops. Storm. He's like, I did nothing wrong. I'm just standing here. No, he's putting his ears back and telling Finn to get out, which causes trouble. Finn's like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing nothing wrong. Which is why I don't like you guys just standing. Oh, there she is. Come on, Gabby. Let's go up to the house. It's not our duty. They're getting antsy. Anyway, that is it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a very special... Uh, tomorrow we're getting something new, amazing, adding to our little farm. We'll see you then.